Hi, this is um, John Deal here with a quick UNET video as a result of YouTube's announcement on the 2nd of June uh, 2011. Um, basically, YouTube have decided to allow the people who are uploading videos to um, make them creative comments, which will allow practitioners and learners to um, edit, adapt, etc. videos that have been produced by others um, who have labelled them creative comments. I'm just going to uh, go on to the YouTube blog. Uh, the address will be at the top of the page there. That's Thursday, June the 2nd, and there is a lot of details there. Uh, including a, a written blow-by-blow -blow account of how you can actually set up the um, Creative Commons on any videos that you're prepared to share. What I'm going to do is to go into my account. So I've got the uh, vidcast that I produce as an alternative to my blog. I'm just going to show you relatively quickly how you can um, make them Creative Commons. So... All I'm going to do is to, let me just zoom in so that you can see. You'll notice that before I did this, the uh, Creative Commons has been attached to the first video clip on um, the What Deal Is Happening vidcast. And I'm just going to go through and show you how I did that with this particular <coughs> vidcast which was the uh, third vidcast for September 2010. Um, all you need to do is to uh, click on the edit button that's the first thing so if I just escape from my zoom and click on the edit button we just have to wait a sec while it loads. Here we are we're actually in the video editor I'm not going to go through how to use that I'm just going to scroll down the page until we get to the license section and again I'll zoom in so that you can see that here we are the license section and all you need to do is to check the radio button there which then will attach the Creative Commons Attribution License where reuse will be allowed. It's as simple as that. So if I just escape from there, click on the radio button, scroll down to the bottom of the page, and down at the bottom of the page you'll see the Save Changes. Okay, let me just escape from that and click Save Changes. It then tells you here at the top of the page that uh, the video details have been updated. Okay, uh, let's just go back into my videos to show you the changes that have taken place. For some reason we've ground to a halt, here we go. Uh, let me just scroll down the page a little. Oh, too far. Haul up the vidcast. And you'll notice now that the second video, let me just zoom in again so that you can see it. The second video, which we were looking at before, okay, is now Creative Commons. And it's as simple as that. I hope you found that useful and um, hopefully many of you will feel that you can allow others to use your creations in their teaching and learning.